Hello, hi again everybody. This is Alan Shura, February 6th, 2016. This is the mystery of the Amplodyne. That's right. Here you can see I have a couple of uh, motors. And I was fortunate enough to get them for about uh, $1 each from a clear out, the Radio Shack from the source. But uh, these uh, toy motors are uh, high RPM motors, 11,500 RPM, 1.3 amp, so they're about 15 watt, a little over 15 watts, a piece at optimum high speed. So what is the Amplodyne? That's what I'm going to discuss um, in this video, uh, the theoretical part of it, and then I'll run this, which uh, they haven't manufactured an Amplodyne since about uh, 1951 with uh, General Electric Company uh, basically making them. They used them for uh, the uh, turrets in uh, World War II, and there's the mystery of the Amplodyne is that there's some confusion of whether it can generate over unity because in this uh, naval uh, document which is one of the few uh, few documents uh, chapter 10d if you look it up on the internet or Google they show how to uh, make a Amplodyne from an ordinary DC motor, that's right, DC motor generator. So a generator can be a motor and it's actually a motor in reverse and an Amplodyne is a ma modified motor generator and the confusion stems that they say that the excitation is 100 watts, 10 kilowatts out ordinarily this generator which is a, uh, a as you can see it has two poles so this is not a permanent magnet DC motor but those little motors I showed they also have uh, two two magnets on them that are permanent magnets these poles are iron core that are excited uh, the strength of the magnetic field according to the strength of the excitation of 100 watt. So uh, the, the Amplodyne uh, made by uh, Ernst Alexanderson, it, this is Navy manual was when it was in use for uh, turning the gun turret on Navy ships on, uh, in World War II, uh, US Navy ships and here it shows only a 1 watt input which is 1 one hundredth in the, the brushes shorted and excitation reduced. So you can see that across the middle they have placed the shorted wire. And now it's only down to 100 volts compared to that 10 kilowatt. 100 volt, 100 amps, 10 kilowatt. Now it's 100, 100 volts, virtually no amp which is all the power transferred to the short and excitation reduced to 1 watt from 100 watt. Now for the uh, third part to change the ordinary DC uh, motor generator into an Amplodyne, uh, here they uh, are showing that the uh, load connects uh, to the new brushes but but if you look it only connects on one side the bottom side is untouched because there's no coil there yet but the fields compensate but there's no output and then the final step the compensating field is added but they are not connected to each other 
but they're connected through the center and now you've got one watt and you're back up to full power so this is where the confusion is and you can look it up yourself there's not too much documentation available on the Amplidyne but I got a hold of a few explanations I have another uh, one that explains how to do uh, four pole uh, setup on and uh, it's actually the circuit appears a little bit different uh, a little bit more complex than it shows here but the basic principle uh, according to the best explanation I read was uh, Alex Anderson uh, and uh, and the uh, uh, Amplidyne um, instructions uh, is that the there's a field in there that uh, reduces the eddy currents and, and it actually takes advantage of the uh, concentration of the uh, of a, of a magnetic field um, in the center that ordinarily is uh, not used and uh, this is transmitted through the uh, short wire so we'll run the Amplidyne a little bit and I'll explain about about uh, where I've got so far with this and I'm gonna have another video come up in a day where I'll actually uh, run this um, under uh, and take some measurements but uh, this one here you see it's uh, so they haven't manufactured since 1951 and 51 they made three models one kilowatt to five kilowatt uh, this system I don't know how many volts it would uh, output uh, but not uh, a lot uh, volts but it's a 15 watt motor so you can get some idea there and one of them is the Amplidyne this one at the end and inside I placed a wire in there I don't know if you can see that but there's a wire that shorts ah you can see a little maybe a little bit of it but I don't know there's a wire going in between the brushes. The brushes are actually on springs. There's graphite that goes to the to, to the uh, uh, to the uh, uh, rotor shaft in the center. The little pin, but the pin is so small, the rotor shaft that that um, I couldn't get coils on the inside as as per the diagram. So I wanted to tr put some coils on the outside, and um, it, I had mixed results there, uh, which I get to. But uh, with the next, uh, when I do an, a video in a day or so, but I just wanted to get the theory down, and what I what I had done here. So I got the short successful, and there's no electrical output. They show drawing, so I haven't um, finished it, completed it, so that it's. Uh, 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 gone through all four steps but I've got the brush uh, or the wire shorting the brushes inside now these I was trying to draw off the center pin on the outside because I didn't have enough on the inside but there's very little room there so I didn't wind up getting much of a or any of a draw so the circuit is not the way it is and I've looked at two circuit schemes I that they, they show that one uh, simplified circuit scheme and I saw one other one that actually had um, um, draw from the poles themselves top and bottom and also power coming in that way but here the strength of the magnetic field gives the strength of the output but there's no output here so the power has to go somewhere and so the power is recycled through the system and it's the way that the power can be channeled around the system so that's not a completely finished one, but I did have uh, some interesting result. But anyway, I'll just start this up now quickly. And here, what are we using to power it? Well, it's the same thing. I got this also for 96 cents from uh, the source of the former Radio Shack supplier, uh, Next Tech AC adapter. And I don't know if any of that would be visible, but... Uh, We'll try and see. I'll, I'll say what it says upon it. It's uh, supposed to be um, input 100 to 240 volts, uh, 63 hertz. Output 4.5 volts, 
at 1.5 amp 6.75 watts maximum that's four and a half volts 6.75 watts at, at one and a half amps so so that's about enough to power about half of the power of a single engine but here I've got the engine driving the other one which was the Amplidyne and connected in the center here and there is some resistance in pushing the other motor so so it's the half the half of the power of a, of a single motor is is what this would uh, ordinarily put out so I just plug that in and here we go I'll uh, I'll just uh, run a quick quick test here on uh, on the voltage output and here's the end of it here of the adapter and And it's at 4.6, 4.6 volts. Uh, just the way I have it, it's showing negative polarity, but it's 4.6 volt output. So, so it's a 4.6 at about one and a half amp. And now I'll hook them up to the Amplidyne, and you can hear how it it actually uh, sounds as it runs. So basically, I've hooked up the uh, positive and negative positive and negative to these nails so I'll just uh, connect that to the to the uh, adapter pull Okay, you hear it's very quiet, very quiet, very smooth running, and it's at a low RPM when normally these would be a high speed motor. But um, there is uh, yet an interesting effect here. And I'll just show you what that is. So, just put this in the end here, and it accelerates immediately. Hear that? Just by sticking a pin inside the amplidyne and touching it across near where it's doing the short which ordinarily outputs no power. All of a sudden that sudden acceleration. The same amount of power is going in. Where's the power going? I don't know if that's information that anybody could say. But we'll get to it. Um, Let's run it a bit more and show some uh, input output in the next video. That's all for now. Thanks.